Hi everyone, it's me Kevin. I'm back with another video. Today I thought it might be kind of fun if I started a new series for Stardew Valley. Woo! You might be wondering to yourself, Kevin, what about the fact that you haven't even finished your other series? What about the fact that you upload like once a month? What about no? I will be honest with you. Do I have aspirations, goals, and see the finish line for this series? Maybe not. But what I do know is that I will continue to make content when I want to. And I will be sure to have it be at a quality that I am moderately satisfied with. Because isn't that what content creation is all about? Yeah. Let's go ahead and start the game. Got my little parsnip seeds. Thank you, Mary Lewis. Now, I have played a decent amount of Stardew Valley in the past. It has been quite a while since I last played it, so I'll probably forget to do things. I'll probably not know how to do things, and I also probably won't be explaining every single thing. And if you've never played Stardew Valley before and you're a little confused, that's just too bad. If anything, I'm teaching you a lesson about life. The world stops for nobody. Hope you know that now. So I think what you're always supposed to do on day one, plant your parsnip seeds and talk to people. Let me go ahead and do that. All right, and I'm done. Like magic, huh? And I also planted one thingy of mixed seeds because I found one. So my quests for today are meet people and plant my parsnips. So I'll go ahead and go to town. Oh, hey, Dan, Daffodil. All right, so here we are at the town. I'm just gonna walk around and maybe talk to people. Look, let's look at the calendar. I think I'm supposed to have something done by the egg festival. And I'll try to remember people's birthdays so I can get the hearts up and running. Again, I'm not 100% sure about every single thing I'm supposed to do. Hello, young man. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Sam I am. I think this is Leah? Hello, it's nice to meet you. Hello, Leah. Who's this person? Penny. Hello, I'm Penny. Hello. Here's another daffodil. Not a dandelion. This right here goes to the beach. Ooh. A cackle. Ah, uh, the new farmer we've all been expecting and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I don't like Elliot. Oh, there's a little thingies. Uh. Trilobite. You found an artifact? The curator of the local museum might want to know this. I probably won't be min-maxing, so I probably won't finish everything in like a single rotation of seasons. It'll probably take another rotation, but it's gonna take my time. Enjoy the vibes. Hello. You're Clint. Can you marry this guy? I forgot. I always felt bad for him because he seemed so lonely. And I was like, maybe I should marry him out of pity. Dun -dun 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 -dun. All right. So this guy's going to talk about how abysmal, not a single piece in the entire collection. All right. This is so this is where I can do donate some stuff like the trial of it. I'm going to go ahead and skip this because I've seen it already. And I'm going to say hi and donate to the museum. This one. Ayo, got my first one. Archaeology. 250 gold, 250 doll hairs. I'm rich. So I haven't played this in a few updates outside of like one stream where I, I was like overwhelmed. So moving on to that old farm. Sure am. Yeah, purple hair girl. Let's go to Pierre's. There's Leah again. Hello. How much is this? 2,000. Only have 750. Hi. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my place is the place to go. Took some liberties with that description. Oh, another daffodil. I'm rich. I wonder if these give energy. No, they probably don't do anything except for give these skill things. And then, yeah, I'm gonna try to talk to everyone as well as remember to get people gifts for their birthday. I found that it's a lot easier if I try to like parse them out and only focus on a few at a time. Otherwise, I feel like I have to run around everywhere in a single day and I can't remember to do things. So I don't think there's a ton to do on day one outside of plant your seeds and just talk to people. So I'll probably make a full rotation, um, talk to anyone I come across, Oh, pick up these and just call it a day from there. I'm Demetrius. Hello. Have you met everyone in town? It does sound exhausting. I think she actually said exciting, maybe, but I think it's exhausting. Just moved in. Sure did. All right. So here is Linus. Linus, a stranger. Hello. Hello. So I'm closing out my circle. There's actually the whole bottom half I haven't even touched yet, so I'll go there in a second. <gasps> what are you? A leak. And it gives energy. That's a good one. I remember I have to be kind of careful with how I spend my um, energy in the beginning because I don't have a lot, right? Yeah. I'm doing all right, though, and I don't think Scything uses energy, if I remember incorrectly. 
All right, I'm gonna put some stuff in the bin. I never know what to sell, because I'm just like, maybe I'll need it. I went ahead and planted my new mixed seed, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to go downtown. Ooh, there are a lot of uh, hardwood thingies. That's good. I think I need a lot of those for stuff, so... Always nice to have a few spares of that. Just gonna circle around. There probably won't be too much, I'm guessing. I think, oh wait, I think this is where you get all the wild onions, which are really good for energy early on. Ooh, a dandelion. That's a dandelion, not the daffodil. Oh, it's almost nighttime already. Y'all, I remember, um, I remember trying to stream this game before. Yeah, it was so tough because there's like so much to focus on and I am not very good at focusing. I've learned in my life. I get distracted very easily. Oh, am I, was I wrong? Are there no spring? Onions here? Am I wrong? So I was wrong. I'm gonna go ahead and run back to bed before I get in trouble because I lost track of time. And really, that's like, that's like, that's like, that's like life. You know what I mean? Life, life just jumps at you in the craziest ways when you are at least expecting it or something like that. What the heck is that? Oh, it's an owl. Okay. All right. Off to bed. Day one complete. Yo, it's the start of an era. 120 gold. I'm rich. Day two. So I think I'm supposed to look at this and look at the fortune teller. Good humor today. Good luck. Excellent. First things first, water. I think I'm gonna make a storage box because that's a lot of stuff to carry. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Yeah, you're affordable. I only have 1,870. Ooh, Willie's here. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and collect wood so that I can actually make stuff because this is getting obnoxious. Nice, I'm at 50. All right, many a tree had to die for me, but that's fine. All in the name of progress. Can I not put it here? Oh, okay, yes I can. Put stuff in. All right, off to actually, let me plant this. All right, to the beach, visit the town and the beach. I don't know what these are, are these roots? Why do they jiggle? Lost book. Oh, I think you get a lot of these, but I never know what they do. I'm assuming there's something you can read because it's a book and you're supposed to read books, allegedly. Oh, there's an exclamation point. That must mean there's something. Small mouth, I don't even have a fishing rod. Oh, there's a little boy. Oh, a stranger, my name's Vincent. Didn't anyone tell you not to talk to strangers? Mama says not to talk to, oh, okay. Oh, there's the mayor. So how was your first night in the old cottage? I'm sure it was lovely. Here's me creeping up on this old man. Buy me a new rod. Can you give me a rod, please? I want you to have my old fishing rod. <gasps> Y'all, it's like I can read mind or something. All right. I'll try to catch a couple fish and see how this goes. This is a lot harder on the Switch version. Sunfish. What the, stop moving. Sardine. What do I need again? Smallmouth bass. I feel like I'm supposed to get that in the lake, not the, or not the lake, the river, not the ocean. Oh, it's literally the same thing. Well, I'm already getting silver quality fish though. I feel like that's pretty good, right? I'm supposed to be getting like pretty low stuff normally. All right, I'm close to giving up because when things get tough, you should just give up. That's what they say or something like that. All right, I'm gonna try in the North River and see if that makes a difference because I feel like this should not be as hard as it is. Here, let's give it a shot. I'm really struggling with this one. A chub. Nice, that's hot. Large mouth bass. That's not what I need. I need a small mouth bass, but I think that's where, it, that probably means this is where you get it though. All right, so I finished fishing. I got a sunfish, sardine, a, another sunfish with silver quality, three frozen geos from my treasure chest, a chub that's silver quality, a carp that's silver quality, and a large mouth bass. 
Um, I'm running out of inventory space and I had to throw away a couple fish as well. So I think I'm just going to call it there and go ahead back. Put some stuff in the bin and I think that this should be enough to get me the backpack. So hopefully it's a little less painful when I'm fishing for the next day. Like I said earlier, uh, these first few days are pretty uneventful. You just talk to people and do some quests. I couldn't finish a quest for Robin, so that's just going to be a flop for now. But whatever, it's only 150 gold. I'm going to go ahead and put the geode in here. Put the stuff in the bin. Alright, and then I see there's some uh, squiggly things here. Oh, I meant- I didn't even- I wasn't even watching my energy, oops. I'm just gonna go to bed now, because I'm a little nervous about that. Alright, so my foraging e EXP went up. My fishing went up. How much did I make? Maybe a lot? Oh, not that much. Hmm, I think I needed to fish more. Alright, so since things- since it's raining, I don't need to water this today. I'll move some things around. I'll also actually take a few of these dandelions for energy because I think I'm going to run out of energy a lot. Um, and today I'm just going to focus on fishing. I'll pick up stuff that I'm for supposed to forage on the way so that I can keep uh, raising my EXP, but I'll probably drop them if I run out of EX or room. But yeah, I think when it's raining, that's when a lot of really good fish come out. So I'm going to go ahead and just focus on fishing for today, make some money so that I can get a backpack and it stops being as painful. So I'll be back after a bunch of fishing, or when I run out of energy. Alright, so it's 9.50pm in game. I didn't end up going through all my energy, but as you can see I caught a good amount of fish. I also got a treasure chest that gave me some coal and diamond. The diamond will be pretty valuable for selling. Uh, I know I can donate it to the museum, but I think they're pretty common and this early on in the game it's a lot more valuable to sell it. I'm expecting a decent amount of fishing levels and maybe even a foraging level? Question mark, question mark? Yeah, between the diamond and all these fish, and I got a lot of gold quality ones too, so I should definitely be able to afford the backpack after tonight and hopefully I get a level or two for fishing, we'll see. Alright, so one level, two levels, nice, alright, so level three fishing, and awesome, yeah, 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 more than enough for the backpack. Alright, so we're at day four, there's no rain today, so it is definitely one where I need to water my plants. Alright, so that's done. Alright, so this is Robin talking about kitchen and expansions, okay. I think I'm okay on expansions for now, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab my hoe and maybe even process these geodes I found while fishing. So I'm going to do my foraging rounds and see if I need to pick up anything. I don't know when the wild spring season is, and I think there are some people I haven't met yet here, so yeah, there's- <gasps> Y'all, I love this man. Shane, what do you want? Leave me alone. He's just like so charming. Like, he is the pepper to my pauper, the wind beneath my wings, the light of my life. I will be marrying this man. Alright, so let's see if I can find anything to forage around this bottom half. I'm uh, seeing nothing. A whole lot of nothing, which is just, you know, it's a great sign. It's a great sign for the day. Alright, it's 9am, which means I think this barn opens. Ah, Mary Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Hello, Marnie. So I think that means I can go into town and get my freaking backpack because y'all, it's such a pain having like this little space. And I think you're supposed to talk to people like daily to keep up hearts, but that's a lot of effort. All right, Sebastian wants a leak for a burrito. Wait, I have a leak. All right, I'll get that after this. Ah, finally. Thank you. All right. Oh, that feels so much better. Having a cramped inventory is like one of my least favorite thing in games. Oh, bread. Love it. I don't think I've met this guy yet. Oh, hey, so you're the new guy, huh? Cool. I like Alex. He's my type. Assholes. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and process these geodes. Hopefully I get something nice. All right, let's see what we got. Clay, love it. Copper, love it. Oh, okay. So, relatively underwhelming, but we take what we can get in this part. Go ahead and donate that while I'm next to it. Okay. Ooh, I see a bunch of new items here today. I should probably get this unlocked as soon as possible. You need 300 pieces of wood. Maybe I'll focus on that today. 
or I could keep fishing. It depends on what my tolerance allows me to do because fishing is a little bit excruciating and I already have to live through an excruciating life. So like, what's the point? Oh, I haven't been in the saloon yet. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hello. Well, hello there, I'm Gus. All right, got that going. What are you doing? Yeah, I think the saloon is a pretty good spot if you're trying to like meet a bunch of people at once. Hello. Harvey, it's a pleasure to meet you. I think you can marry Harvey too. I always forget about him as a character though. Just a very forgettable guy. Oh, there's the angry man in here too. I should probably talk to him. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people. Name's George, but like don't people not come here very often? What is he talking about? All right, I still need to meet eight more people and I need to get Sebastian's leak. So let me go get the leak. Wait, who am I missing? Oh, uh, okay, is Pam here? Pam's in the trailer, I think. Okay, I'm, I haven't seen a lot of places, I guess. But it's good, I'll need the leak. And the rest of the stuff can be, I'll hold on to some of this. All right, now I need to find Sebastian. I'll go the other way around since I haven't foraged around that side yet. And then I think I'll focus on getting my 300 pieces of wood to fix the, to fix the bridge over. Oh, wild horseradish. Oh. Another wild horse radish. There's Linus. I should probably talk to him again. Hi. Do you want something from me? Do you have anything to give me? Hello. Where's your son? Is he home? Are you home, Sebastian? Yes. Here you go. Hey, thanks for the help. Is this what I wanted? Delivery done. 180 gold. Yo, I'm rich. I think I need to buy strawberries at the egg festival, so I need to get as much money in preparation for that. But let me just finish my rounds and then I will go and I grab a bunch of wood because you need an ungodly amount of wood to make that freaking bridge. And there's a lot of trees to clear in my town, in my farm, so. All right, so now I'm just gonna focus on chopping these trees down. Love mother nature. I'm realizing pretty late that I probably should have saved some of those fish so I can have energy for these trees because I forgot how much energy it takes to cut down trees. I don't know exactly what the threshold is for minimum energy before you like get penalized for it, so I don't want to start on a new tree. I don't think I have enough energy to start a new tree, but I'll clear out some of these smaller logs that are just sitting around. Today's haul was 134 wood, so close to halfway there. All right, I'm going to call it a day right here. Go on to the next day. Hopefully I get a foraging level. Oh, no, I guess not. Thought I cleared a lot of stuff. 150 gold. It's better than zero. Hello. Hi, good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks. You'll need a furnace. Oh yeah, so I can get um so I can get the things. What are they called? You use a furnace to get the thing, smelting. Smelting. You smelt for something. Bars. Smelt metal bars. And those will be really useful for when I get sprinklers. And the sprinklers will let me get away with not watering every day. Oh, I got the dog too. I'm a dog person, by the way, not a cat person. I'm very allergic to cats, y'all. Dating as a gay guy is so hard because everyone has cats here for some reason. Beans is what I will name them. <laughs> Woof. Oh, I can farm my parsnips, yay! Awesome, I don't even need to water much then. Jojamart. Oh, this is like the Amazon. This is like the morally corrupt way to play the game, apparently. Forging ahead, craft a furnace. I can do that, build a coop. I'll do that later. Reach the farming level one. I think with the parsnips, I should be hitting farming level one. All right, I'll do the usual foraging round. Go see the store. And I think I'll try to craft a furnace as well. Oh my God, remind me to clear out all those freaking weeds around my house because it's a pain to get through it all. So little time. Oh, it's Friday, which means this guy's here, or this girl, I don't know her. Do I need any of this? Oh, wait, a rare, s five rare seeds? Wait, this is actually, hmm. No, I think it's too early to get that, but sometimes you can get some pretty cool stuff here that is very worth to get you started on stuff. Just gonna do a light scan of everything. Maybe the spring onions will be here. Now that I think about it, I think it is spring, but it's not like the entire spring. It starts at a certain, yes, yes. These are so good for energy. They're, they don't sell for very much, but they're very good for um, energy when you're fishing and stuff like that. And obviously they also give you some foraging EXP as well, so all around a good vibe. All right, so I'll talk to some villagers while I make this round, and then, ooh, a fish, nice. Pick it up. Anchovy. 
I actually haven't looked up here's shop stock yet. Oh, how much is the next backpack? Is it 10,000? It is, that's a lot of money. Wait, this stock is so big. What the, parsnips, that's what I have. Cauliflower, 12 days. Should I buy more parsnips? Hmm, maybe I'll buy some kale. Wait, how long, do, how long do I have until the egg festival? Let me see. Okay, I can definitely get through one harvest with uh, one harvest of like maybe the kales. Ooh, I'm gonna be screwed if I, if I mess that up. Okay, I think I have enough time to do this. All right, I went ahead and got 31. It's gonna be a pain to water them all, but it'll be, it'll be worth it, it'll be worth it. Yeah, when you get the strawberries for the egg festival, it's like pretty wild. I think the return on those are super high, so I'll definitely be wanting to like invest in those. The thing about Stardew Valley is that like, there's so much to do all the time, you just get sidetracked. Like I was gonna start the day chopping wood, but now I'm like, oh, I need to plant these kale seeds. Hopefully it doesn't take too much energy though. All right, and thankfully I have a lot of these spots already hoed up. All done, that was easy. And I'm already at half energy. Thankfully got those onions. Um, I'm gonna go right back to working on getting more of the uh, woods. I'll keep this here just so I can have an eye on it. But yeah, I have a lot of spring onions now to help with my energy consumption. So that should help with getting me finished up today, I hope. All right, I finally have 300 wood. That took a surprisingly high amount of energy. I also picked up a handful of mixed seeds. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant those as well since I have the spots hoed up anyways. Um, and hopefully I get something good out of them. Oh, farming went up, obviously, because I got those parsnips. Foraging went up, I definitely was doing a lot of axing. 350 from the parsnips, that actually isn't a lot. I maybe should have just kept those for energy. All right, so day six. Ooh, that's pretty. The way I tend to play this game is I like go pretty hard in the early stages so that I can get a lot of money really fast and then I can really quickly invest into sprinklers. And then from there, I'll just kind of chill out and like focus on building relationships with people. So that's done. I might do some fishing today and I'll definitely go ahead and put those wood into the, the bridge at the beach. Do my little rounds, see if I can pick up some foraging stuff. What I really like about foraging is that when you get to level 10, you can get the perk that like makes everything you pick up iridium quality, which is pretty cool in my opinion. If you combine that with the truffles from the pigs, that's like pretty OP, I feel. All right, so there should be a new harvest of spring onions today as well. I believe it should be daily. There should be a few more on the other side, yep. Oh, I got a gold one, that's cool. All right, straight to the beach. Fastest bridge repair ever. Pick up all these things finally. I'll go ahead and do some fishing here then. See what I can get. Probably won't spend the whole day here because I'm lazy, but it'll be good. Okay, so I got a little bit carried away. It's already 9 p.m. here. Um, I got all these fish. I got actually pretty unlucky with like the garbage and seaweed I picked up, but I did get a treasure chest with a bunch of bait as well as a treasure chest with gold ore. So I'm gonna head back and put these fish away. The nice thing about the fishing is like, it's a little tedious and I guess repetitive, but it also is pretty, I don't know, relaxing or almost therapeutic in the way that it's repetitive. Sell most of the stuff. Pet my dog, of course. All right, I think fishing should go up at least one. Yep, level four fishing. And fishing netted me, oh, actually honestly a pretty good amount for the day. All right, so it's day seven. I think I'm going to be calling it a video here. Hope you guys enjoy this series. I'll continue to make videos for it and just kind of vibe along with it. And yeah, uh, remember to eat a lot of food, stay safe, and I will see y'all for the next one. Bye.